Oh, my name is Saida Hassan, and I am from Minnesota. I currently live there. I have six siblings and one brother. I'm the youngest. Currently, I'm in Moktisho doing an internship with the Heritage Institute for Policy Studies. I'm researching about the Somali National University, which was known as Jama'at de Umada, and it existed two decades. So I'm collecting these stories of people who attended uh, Somali National University when pre the war time. So just finding out how the education, the higher education was like for them, what they had access to, what they didn't have access to, how the student life was, um, and what the overall the quality of education for higher education was. Somali National University was the only university in Somali region. So people from all over Somalia used to come um, to the university to attend. They had different colleges, different departments, and uh, they had, you know, um, teachers who were Italian, Egyptian. So I collected about 10 stories, um, and then I'm going to go back, and then I'm hoping to produce a report about the quality or somehow, some way, what are the lessons we can learn from Somali National University when it existed. They have been publishing about, you know, um, really good reports that I had no idea that this kind of research can take place in Somalia. I didn't know you can produce such a quality, well-planned research out of Somalia. That just, you know, sparked me and gave me a lot of ideas. And at that time, I wasn't in graduate school, so I just started, uh, kept following their stories, things that they do, their activities, and I, I was. I was generally very impressed by what their work ethics was like and what they were producing. I came to Somalia and I met um, Abdi, who is director of uh, HIPS. So I applied and I got an internship with, with them. So I was supposed to come with my own things, my own fundings and things like that, but it didn't work out and then they were able to help me. They, they actually accommodated me more than they're supposed to um, by, you know, telling them what do I need, the logistics and all that stuff, and uh, worked with me very closely. And then this turned out to be my three-credit internship, and plus that leads on to my project. So I've been here two months. A typical day in Muqtisho is with the Heritage Institute is different. So I share a room with two researchers. Um, one associate researcher and one senior researcher. So in the morning I would come in, I'd have breakfast. When I have breakfast, I go open my email, I kind of um, browse around, do search. Usually, most of the time, the past two weeks, I've spent um, interviewing people. So I go and I meet people where they want me to meet them, which is safer, secure, and more comfortable. So when you do interviews, it's better to meet the person where they want to do the interview because that's their comfort zone and they're able to express themselves more. So the past two weeks I've just, most of the people that I'm finding are older generation of Somali, people who flew out of the country and then now are coming back. Um, so I would go and then usually I would like to make my appointments not so early, like midday, but it just depends on what time they want to do it. So I'd go and email whatever I have to email, make a list, do my little things, you know, and then um, get on the car and then go interview them and then come back. HIPS has a great opportunity for you to come down, be part of research, and the great thing is that they're so open with their projects, you can pick anything that you want to be on. Um, you just have to be vocal about what you want to do and where you want to be at and what is your long-term end goal with them as you intern. But I, I think that I don't, I don't really have words to describe how this um, internship was worth it, but it was definitely a worthwhile internship. I, I think that if you are in the West and you don't know much about Somalia and you really are looking for a very professional way to find out Somalia rather than just coming with family and exploring, you know, family to family and not you know, getting the kind of education tool that you need, HIPS is the place to really 
understand what are the roots of Somalia is like because they really have access to a lot of things. They will expose you to a lot of things and I, and that's what I got. I mean, it meant I didn't expect all of this. I just wanted a minimum internship, but it exceeded my expectation, I would say. Beyond I can imagine, you know, it was it was fabulous. It was it was thrilling. I was I was I had access to people like the president, the prime minister, you know, I interviewed the prime minister for my research and they go beyond and above to get you what you want. And I, and, and I think that they are they're creating a new narrative for the Somalis from the diaspora because this is this is something that's that's really needed in Somalia. This the the culture of research is not familiar with our people, not so familiar the way actually they do it in my opinion. Um, so to to have that, it's an extraordinary tool of education. <laughs>